All right, let's get right into it. Not a fan, not keeping these. And um, I have a few things I really don't like about this shoe. So let's go, man. Like most of you, I was really excited when I found out the True Blue 4 was originally coming out. I personally never owned the True Blue 4 ever in my life. So finally, I was like, yes, I'm gonna add these in the collection. Then we started seeing early photos and then official photos and early reviews, things like that. And uh, a lot of people started complaining about the shoe. I didn't see them in hand until recently, but it was a GS size. So I was giving it the benefit of the doubt. And now that I have the official pair from sneakers directly from sneakers not too crazy about them so one of the main things people are complaining about is the blue people aren't happy that the blue isn't as bright as the previous retro and then somebody else pointed out which is you know bless the internet for being able to do this the blue is similar to the original original true blue fours the, you know from back in the day this is uh, supposed to look more so like the the original, which that's totally fine. I actually appreciate when Jordan goes back and looks at the archives to make sure they're giving us something similar to the original. For me, I'm gonna make y'all wait. I will be at God Soul Phoenix. I gotta throw this quick plug in there. Next month, y'all, this is the first time I Got Soul has ever come to Phoenix, Arizona, and it's gonna be a crazy event. Y'all know I'm gonna be in the building and there are definitely gonna be some other surprises. I'll see you guys there and uh, sorry, I had to just quickly throw that in because it's it's creeping up on us all right don't miss out got soul a z we'll see you guys there phoenix got soul anyway back to the sneakers oh also i did get a few other pairs of sneakers so this video is technically about these but i have a bunch of other pickups as well so we'll get to that but yeah it's not the blue that really made me hate this sneaker it's the rest of the shoe the upper this shoe is not white. Maybe the originals were the same color as the upper, I don't know, but for me, the retro of the True Blue is the one that I grew up on. It's the one that I always wanted, and that was a white upper. Let's put it against my table. I'm gonna try to get the right angle for you guys. All right, so this is a white table from Ikea. This is a Jordan 4. Can you tell that this is not the same color as this? It, it almost looks as if this blue bled onto the rest of the shoe, giving it a different color upper. Like, I'm I'm just not a fan. I think it looks weird. The midsole is white, and that looks very similar to the table, but the rest of the shoe, it's just not white. I know us sneakerheads, we nitpick. We ask for a shoe, they bring it back, and then we complain about a shoe. And I'm sure there are people who are gonna like this the way it is. And I was still planning to wear them and then I put them on feet and I just was like, no, nah, I can't do it. I don't, it looks weird on feet. All right, I just put them on and I'm not gonna lie, they fit a little big, like my toes right here. I mean, not to the point where I would size down, but they are roomy. And I don't know if I'm really feeling them. I don't know, man. There's something about them. I know a lot of people are also complaining about this like little widow's peak. That doesn't bother me too much. The blue on the heel tab isn't the same blue as this. And that kind of bothers me as well. So there's multiple things with this shoe that I don't like. Before I show you guys the rest of the pickups, because as I mentioned, there are a few more. It's NBA playoff time. I know y'all need some tickets to the game and I got a little discount code for y'all in case you do want to go. So here's a quick word from one of my favorite sponsors of the channel, SeatGeek. There's a lot of dope events coming up from now in summertime, even to the end of the year. So SeatGeek is definitely the place you need to be to get your tickets. Obviously playoffs and NBA finals are coming up for me and I'm super super excited about that so I'm definitely going through SeatGeek to get my ticket. There's actually over 70,000 events per day on SeatGeek which is absolutely insane. I know Bad Bunny's on tour, Drake is on tour, those are just some of the people that I would love to see right now. Basically SeatGeek puts all the tickets from around the web on one place so it's easy to find good seats. Each ticket is actually rated so you know you're getting a good deal. Green means good, red means bad, and every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. SeatGeek is the only site that lets you do this you can return your ticket ahead of the event with swap and as always y'all know i gotta take care of you with 20 dollars off use my code you get 20 dollars off off your first purchase i'll leave the link down below make sure y'all download the app don't miss out and get your events going all right so i didn't even realize how many new pickups i have but there's a Quite a few pairs here, so we're gonna try to get through these quick. First off, we got these Anta Kai ones. This is Kyrie's first signature shoe with Anta. 
post leaving Nike or parting ways with Nike. I did actually hoop in these already. I'm gonna do a whole review on them for a TikTok slash Instagram reel. I don't think I'll do like a YouTube video for these, but I'll just say overall, good hoop shoe, solid hoop shoe, eight out of 10. I like these a lot. Thank you, Anta, for sending these over. Another shoe we got that I already played ball in is the Philly Kobe 4s. I wasn't expecting to pick these up, to be honest, because I've been getting a lot of the Kobe's, but when I did get these, I was really happy. I never owned this shoe before and these are so fire because they got this like full 3M upper with leather and then they got this like star print right here on the collar area that like is 3M so it reflects and it's super dope. But yeah, I played ball in these already and unfortunately, I don't know, I, I guess I dragged my, my toe when I play and the paint came off a little bit which sucks because the best part about this shoe is the whole blue upper and seeing that little white dot kind of pisses me off. But hey, Kobe would be proud. I'm playing in his shoes. I'm not just letting him sit on the shelf and collect dust. Another Kobe I just picked up, which is a very, very rare one. Kobe Breast Cancer, the K-Wows right here. Super, super, super rare. These never came out to the public. I think these were just only given out to like friends and family as well as like hoopers from like EYBL and those types of leagues, high school kids, NBA players, things like that. But somebody hit me up on Instagram and they had a pair in the 10 and a half. I'm usually a 10 in Kobe's, but getting these for a really, really good deal in a size 10 and a half, I thought I would add them to the collection just because I already have. I have the Kobe 5 K Wow, so I thought I would only get the Kobe 6. I thought it was only right. So yeah, we picked these up. I don't think I'll hoop in this one just because it's a half size bigger than I'm usually playing in, but it's, yeah, I couldn't pass up on these. I got these for a really, really good deal. Another Kobe. This was also from the Mamba Day set that they dropped. This is the Italian camo. This is the one that I was most excited about because it reminds me of the uh, I feel like a hypey shirts that I dropped back in the day, which was camo with the red letters. I'm not going to wear these with that shirt. I don't even know if I have it anymore, but this is just super sick. I might honestly wear these ones casually because I have so many Kobe's to hoop in at the moment. And then another pair that I got was the third one from the Mamba Day pack, which is the Venice Beaches. I actually used to have the Venice Beaches when they originally came out. I ended up selling them. I, mean, I sold most of my Kobe's back then because I needed the money to pay rent and pay bills when I was trying to make it in LA back in the day but this one is super dope. I also picked up these right here. Now this one is going to be played in because I love Kobe 9's on court. I feel like they're one of the most underrated Kobe's to play in. I was at Soul Supremacy last Friday doing a special whatnot collab with them and they had these sitting on the shelves and it just happened to be my size so I ended up picking them up because you it's so rare to find a dead stock pair of Kobe 9s. And if you know Kobe 9s, you know that these things are amazing on court. I got these right here. These were sent to me by a company called Kizzo. So I've seen some of his stuff on Instagram and I think TikTok actually. I think I've seen some of his posts on TikTok. I checked my DMs one day and he said he wanted to send me a pair of his shoes. So yeah, this right here is another silhouette. Comes with like this really nice dust bag. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this shoe's pretty crazy. I don't know if I could pull this off. It even has like its own shoe tree, which is super dope but yeah quality on this is amazing it's got these like little stars on the back which is cool little diamond logo right there on the side i love the rope laces rose on the bottom i love the outsole the outsole looks fire the midsole's got like this barbed wire print to it which is super super dope all right that's it true blue review a few new pickups very simple video appreciate y'all tuning in that's it i'm out